Hi, welcome back. In this presentation, I will talk about the permutation cipher. It is also called the transposition cipher. The idea is very historical. Uh, I can trace back to 1500. Um, all they are doing is take a message, uh, partition the message into blocks and perform permutation on each block, okay? So for example, if the input is say, uh, let's say an example, C cells, what they do is they partition this message into blocks. Let's say the block length is six. We can now apply permutation cipher on each block. So it's like a block cipher, define a mapping now. So maybe I define it like this. I'll explain what it means in a moment. Mapping is one, one and on two, right? Between set of numbers zero through five, inclusive of zero and five. Okay, now I'll explain how we will use this mapping to do the encryption and decryption. So we go back to the plain text. Let's take the first block of the plain text. Okay, um, what is this mapping saying? The mapping is saying, um, take the X column, X is zero, right? So what shall we do? In the place of the first um, input message character, uh, we take whatever value is at place number two, okay? That's the meaning. So because zero corresponds to two here, okay? That means we need to take the second character of our input. So what is the second character? Recall this is index zero, this is index one. In the place of the zeroth element, I need to put the second element, okay? Which is, which is nothing but E. So now I'm going to do the mapping. S, H, E, Yes, E L is my input. And I will be mapping this as follows. Yes will become in the place of yes, what are my, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to replace it by the second character, which is nothing but E. Okay. And in the place of one, I need to get the fourth character, which is nothing but another E, because I, I, I it's not shown here. And then in the place of second, I need to take the zeroth character, which is nothing but yes. So if this is the input, this, this will be the output play, uh, cipher text. Okay, um, the decryption is now easy. You need to, um, of course, you need to know this mapping, right? And you go backwards, okay? Um, let me now show you how the decryption process will work. Take the first character, which is index zero. E, I need to replace it by two, right? What is two? Two is nothing but, so zero, one, and two is nothing but yes. So I'll get uh, yes, okay. And now I take one, I need to replace it by fifth character, which is a H. Remember, I'm starting my index from zero. Okay, and uh, so you can see here, I reconstructed the input plain text. Okay, this is nothing but the input plain text. So. Um, if we define a mapping like this between um, the input and output, and uh, this is the encryption function, and this, this is the decryption function. This part is the decryption. Um, what is leaked though is that if you look at the num, for example, if you look at the uh, number of times yes occurs, yes occurs in the input two times, um, you will see that, and th there exists also another character which occurs two times, yes, such. E occurs two times, there also E occurs two times. Um, the, the frequency is carried over uh, from the plain text to the cipher text, but uh, you don't have other things like diagrams and, and trigrams, meaning, uh, you know, if T and H occurs together in the plain text, that kind of property is destroyed because we map uh, T to some other character, H to some other character, depending on the position. Um, and, and, and it's not exactly like a substitution cipher where patterns are carried over, okay? Here it's kind of suppressed. Okay, nevertheless, um, I also wanted to warn you that this is not secure because as I said, one is the frequency information is leaked. Another is that um, you can actually, um, if you know one pair of uh, plain text and cipher text, you will be able to recover this matrix, the, 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 the mapping function, okay. I actually uh, said matrix, let me now explain also a matrix view of this, okay. The zero, zero, one, 
0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Why did I put 1? Let me explain it in a moment. Our input, what you're doing is you're taking uh, each element of your uh, input character, like S will be multiplied with 0, H will be multiplied with 0, E will be multiplied with 1, so you get E, okay? Which is exactly what we need. Remember, the, the, the zeroth position is filled with uh, the second character, which is nothing but E in the index starting from 0 through uh, 5, okay? And inverse of the matrix will give you the decryption. So if you have this matrix, you uh, take the inverse, uh, which exists because it's just identity matrix rotated in, in, in different ways. Um, inverse of the matrix with the ciphertext will give you the input plain text. Okay, so let me now show you a demo of permutation cipher. Okay, um, it's a little Python program that I wrote. Okay, so here's my input she shell, right? And I define the mapping exactly the same as what you saw on the whiteboard. And uh, let us now walk through this piece of code. I'm, I'm just to showing you for one block and then I will show it to you for multiple blocks. Um, we, we need to make sure that uh, the input message is same as the length of the mapping. So if we have six uh, input characters, we need six uh, characters in the mapping. That's the reason for this assertion. And I'm going to now walk through each element of my input uh, character, right? And uh, based on the mapping, like for example, um, the zeroth position of the output uh, will be based on the uh, value of the second character. That's basically the message of mapping of i, right? When i is zero, mapping of zero is nothing but two. And message of two is nothing but zero, one, two is nothing but e, okay? So now let's run it. So as you can see here, uh, you get the output e, e, l, uh, e, e, s, l, s, h. This is exactly what you saw on the whiteboard. So we take the input uh, and we permute. That's basically the idea of permutation cipher. Okay. So if you wanted to extend this to for multiple blocks, which I have programmed it here, let me show to you how I did that part um, very quickly. All I did is essentially uh, use Python to split the uh, split my input into multiple blocks of block length, right? And for each block, I call the permute underscore block. And then I, 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 in this case, I'm going to print the output as a string. That's the reason I convert the list into a string. Okay, that's all. And let me now call this uh, function and do a longer text. Okay. So I'm going to permute and show to you the cipher text. So let's do this. I have the um, longer text here. And I'm going to do permutation um, of block length six at a time. As you can see, I get this gibberish uh, cipher text. Okay, so um, the message is that um, permutation cipher is basically taking your long message, chop it into blocks, and then performs just some rotation of elements within the each within each block. Okay. And I have also shown to you that you can view, view this as a matrix multiplication operation, right? Your input is partitioned into blocks. Each block is multiplied by um, a fixed matrix. Uh, that matrix is, is nothing but um, identity matrix uh, rotated um, row wise or column wise. Uh, that means it's invertible. Therefore, you can also do decryption easily. All right, that's, that's all. Um, this is how the permutation cipher actually works. Thank you for your attention.